Next up, we have Adam Schmea. Adam uh, teaches math at the middle school, and he's going to talk to you about a little bit of a different uh, assessment tool that he uses in his room. So um, my presentation, I'm going to try to make as, oops, hope that wasn't expensive, um, as interactive as possible. Um, I'm going to be talking about a web-based student response system. And if you have any web-enabled device on you right now, take it out. Um, 3G or 4G, whatever you have, is the only thing that's going to work. The guest network that we have going, Wi-Fi right now, isn't going to work for what I would like you to do. It'll make it my job a little bit easier. Um, I'll probably be a little bit less nervous. By the way, any um, speaking class that I've ever had, always the prof professor always told me to picture my audience. <laughs> you know what? All of you are seventh and eighth graders right now. All right. I'm trying to run a laptop, cell phone, and iPad at the same time. Perfect. So my topic today is a student response system called Socrative. I just found out that it's pronounced Socrative last night. Um, the last five months or so, I've been calling it Socrative. So all of my students have heard it called Socrative. So that's how I'm going to pronounce it. It's a web-based student response system that I use for instant feedback in the classroom 99% of the time on the fly. I do not have any pre-made questions. I do not set up anything special. And it takes about as long as having students take out a notebook is about how long it takes them to get set up and going. So for the time that you would say, could you please take out a notebook, I say, could you please log on to Socrative and they're on it. Previously, before all of our students had this one-to-one -one initiative with the iPads, um, our school did have the luxury of having two of these smart response systems. And I don't know if you're familiar with these smart response systems, but they're pretty cool. Except for my application in a math classroom, there's limiting aspects to this kind of technology. For one, when I'm teaching seventh and eighth graders algebra, the one thing that they, it's new because it's algebra is, oh my gosh, there's letters in math. What's this X thing? On here, it's just multiple choice, true, false, and yes, no, and that's about it. In this new kind of web-based online you know, um, response system, there's so many more things, there's so much more that you can do with it. Um, so I'll just get right into that right now. Oop, wrong button. Before I really go into anything more, you see the word on the top? It's free, 100% free, no cost. And when I saw this on the website right away, I was like, yeah, right, I'm gonna get spam emails. It's gonna cost me my time because all of this stuff I'm gonna have to delete in my email. The only emails that I ever get from this website is the ones that I send to myself. And those are reports, and I'll get into reports in a second. But it's, oh, it's free. Um, that website up there, Socrative.com, if you're interested in signing up, it is a teacher sign up thing. And it really doesn't take any time. This isn't the website that you would go to to use it, however. This is the website you would just go to once and never go to again. Unless you're like me last night trying to get ready for this presentation and you notice, hey, there's this little video. So I watched the video and it's everything that I was gonna do today anyway. So instead of showing you this video, I'll actually do what I had planned. Um, so if you're interested in signing up, you go to the Socrative.com once, that's it. And there's two interfaces. There's the student interface, and then there's the teacher interface. You would be using the teacher interface. Students don't see this unless 
you show it to them by actually having it projected. Or like me, I walk around the class with this on my iPad. The students are gonna just see what you send them in the student interface. So what I would like you to do right now is on the bottom on that student link, just type in m.socrative.com on your, on your phones. And it should take you to something that looks like this. So my students get out their iPads, they hit a, a, a quick link, takes them right to this, and then they sign up under my class. If you would like to sign up under my class right now or join my room, my room number that I set up for myself is, oops, did I kick that out? LFCMS128. And you can choose your own room number. LFCMS128, no spaces. Just as I tell my students, please don't put any spaces in it. Okay. I chose LFCMS hoping that my students would be able to memorize this. My room number is 128, Little Falls Community Middle School, LFCMS. You would think they all would memorize it. We are five months into using this. And I still have to remind them, no spaces. But I guess it's the battles you choose. Okay, oh, nice. Teacher end. Looks like this. On the top, you notice that you can see my room number and just make sure that I'm signed in. I'm in LFCM 12As. I have 70 people active in this room right now. Thank you very much, those 70 of you. I know there's a lot more of you in here, so come on, join. If I was in class and I wanted to make sure that my students were signed up, because sometimes the links don't quite work, I might send instantly a test question. This question has nothing to do with anything. Right now, my teacher machine isn't changing, but yours is. And it will be a true and false question. And just to make sure that they know that they're signed into my class and they're getting the information that I want them to get, I'll say, just click a button as soon as you get the test question. And from my iPad, I can see how many people are registering. And this is 100% live. And instead of waiting, because I'm on a time timer, I can scroll to the bottom. I would wait for all of my students to answer, make sure that I have all of the, the people registered. But I'll just go ahead and end this activity, and you'll notice that yours is going to change. You only see what I give you. And that's what I love about this. If this is 100% engaged time with the iPad, they have to be on this website if they're following along in my classroom. They're not searching the web. They're not looking at other things because they would fall behind. They know that they need to keep up so that way they're not wasting other students' time. It's not about wasting my time. It's about wasting their own friends' time. And they don't want to do that. So the different things that you can do with this website is I can send multiple choice questions. True and false, we, we use them mostly for yes and no, or you know, on the both sides of the fence kind of thing. Multiple choice, true and false, were just kind of like the smart response systems that you can use. If I made up pre-made questions, is that coming out again? It'll change on yours, so you can just kind of follow along on your own. You can set up pre-made um, choices in a multiple choice if you set up your own quiz or your own test. But what I use this a lot for is I, instead of having students raise their hand, hey, on a scale of one through five, tell me how you get this topic. Because I use this when I'm talking about independent and dependent variables. Students can be independent or dependent, and their eyes go directly to their friend and they change their score on how they're getting the lesson based on what their friend thinks. So now all of these students aren't scared to show what they're thinking. So I say, all right, on scale from A to E, one through five, tell me how you like this presentation so far. Please be honest. Type A is one, E is five. Do you like today's presentation or are you just glad you're out of work? 
No pre-made questions. Just running with this on the fly. And after I get my responses, now I have instant feedback. Students want to see this, so I just flip my iPad over. And they want to see where everyone's at, so we can have that discussion of, why is there only one person that's not getting it? Why is everybody else getting it? And we can have that, that instant discussion. This next feature oh, is amazing. <laughs> when, when I'm talking about a math classroom, I can't stand that there's just number answers or there's just one word response or one choice response systems out there. This I found, and this is what I use all the time, is now I can say, don't give me an answer, tell me how to do it. So students get out their iPads and they instantly start typing directions. They type summaries. They're typing everything that they know about whatever question I'm giving them. This is short response questions. And hopefully you have short response questions going on right now. Is stuff changing for you? But anyway, if it, if it was working, I must have ended something. Is you'll see this text box come up. You can type whatever you want. But as you're typing, me as the teacher, I can see what you're typing. There will be, you can just type anything if it's actually working for you. Just hit letters, buttons, whatever. And it'll start popping up under my responses. I can look at those responses. I can send those responses back to the students. The students can vote on those responses of which one do they think is the best. Did they have the best one? Did somebody else have the best one? And you see those red X's along the side? You know, there's always that one smart aleck student in the class that likes to type something. I get to choose which ones go back to them. So I can hit that little red button and not send those ones that if I don't want their name on it, they don't put their name on it and so forth. So, hey, somebody remembers my name. This is the bomb. See, if I saw that in class, I'm like, this is the bomb. Really, do I really want to send that out to somebody? Sorry if that was yours. So I can just choose to not send it, go to the bottom, and then vote on responses. And you can do exit tickets which are pre-made assessments. You can set up your own tests and quizzes for this. So now you'll get results. If you want to see more about the results, you can um, stop by my station. I can show you some more stuff about results. They get emailed to you. But overall, this is a 100% free student response system that doesn't need an iPad. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Thank you very much.